the 3,000 heroes who give up their time to volunteer that make the Lilyhammer Youth Olympic Games possible. They're easy to recognise. Some even have familiar faces. Well, it's actually my honour to be here because there's a lot of volunteers uh, making this big happening actually possible. There's over 3,000 people doing this and uh, I want to pay my respect and be a part of the working group, actually. They might be government ministers, but little fuss is being made about them here. I talked to my officers earlier today and they say that it's a rather calm, uh, calm place to be. It's, so far it's been going very, very good. It's important to get to know people and uh, talk to them, ask them what they are, uh, what they think it's important that we as a government uh, should uh, work with. They believe continuing the Olympic legacy and reusing venues from the previous games is a must. Making these old uh, Olympic Games facilities li alive again, it's uh, very important. You know, we had the Olympics in 1994. It was a big, big event. We are still talking about it. And now we have this, uh, this Olympic, uh, huge, uh, Olympic Games. So I think it's tremendous. While they're only volunteering their time for a day, their presence hasn't gone unnoticed. There may even be a few votes in it. Ashley Tullock, IOC Young Reporter.